वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस सर्टन एग्जांपल्स व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन अ कंपैरिजन टेस्ट एज वेल एज लिमिट कंपैरिजन टेस्ट सो लेट अस रिकॉल सम रिजल्ट्स व्हिच आई नीड टू डिस्कस दैट एग्जांपल्स सो द फर्स्ट टेस्ट दैट वी नीड टू रिकॉल इट इज अ डायरेक्ट कंपैरिजन टेस्ट और इज जस्ट अ कंपैरिजन टेस्ट in that we will have a two summation of un and summation of vn are two positive term series and the summation of vn is convergent that means the bigger series is convergent then its smaller one is also convergent so that is known as a comparison test another one is if the smaller series is divergent that means vn is divergent and its bigger one is also divergent so this two statements we need to recall that we have discussed in my previous like lecture if you want to see the proof of that you can see in the i button it is available in the i button and you can go and visit that the next things that we need to require it is a a limit comparison test which tells that if you have a summation of un and summation of vn are two positive term series and if this limit of un upon vn is l which is a finite non zero number then a nature of summation of un and summation of vn is same or i can say that if vn is convergent then un is convergent if vn is divergent then un is divergent there is a extra two statements which i have stated here that is this limit if it is zero then you can say that if summation of vn is convergent then summation of un is also convergent if this limit of un upon vn is infinitive as n tends to infinity and this summation of vn is divergent then summation of un is also divergent so this is a limit comparison test the proof of the limit comparison test is also available in i button you can go and see that next is a p series test which says says that a summation of 1 upon n power p is convergent for all value of p which are greater than 1 and is divergent for all values which are less than or equal to 1 so this is the p series test and we'll going to use this one a proof for this also is available in i button you can go if you want to see a proof of p series test and the next one that is a geometric series test which says that a geometric series summation of a r raised to n is convergent if mod of r is less than 1 and it is divergent if mod of r is greater than or equal to 1 so this based on this four results that is the comparison test limit comparison test p series test and geometric series test we are going to solve certain examples so let us start with the first example so this statement is same for each and every example test the convergence of of the following series so in that first one i will take as an example that is summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 over 7 n minus 2 this problem i can solve with the two method one with the comparison test another one with the limit comparison test so what is here what we have it is un is 1 upon 7 n minus 2 so also note that we note that 7 n minus 2 will be always less than or equal to 7 n for any n which is greater than 1 this is true because we are subtracting minus 2 from it so this is always true if i take the reciprocal then this is 7 n minus 2 this inequality will be changed greater than or equal to 1 upon 7 so what we can say from this that this series that is this side we know that summation of 1 upon n is divergent as p series test you just see that here p equal to 1 you can just see that n power p is 1 here so due to this p series test this series is divergent so what we have is a smaller series is divergent so obviously its bigger one is also divergent so therefore by comparison test the summation of 1 upon 7 n minus 2 is divergent 
So that is the method 1. Let's solve this is by method 2. So here that un is 1 upon 7 minus 2, 7 and minus 2. Now whenever you have a series of the form pn upon qn, where pn is a polynomial, qn is also a polynomial. So this is of the type, here it is a constant polynomial, here it is a polynomial of degree 1. Whenever such situation is there, you have to common out maximum power from this pn and maximum power from qn of n. Whatever the terms we are having a maximum power of n, that term should be common out. So here the common term is in numerator it is 1 and the denominator is n. So we will have 7 minus 2n. So this is my vn. I will take vn is equal to 1 by n. So whatever the terms you will have here that I can take it as vn. Now we will check what will be the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinity. So just see that limit of un is this 1 upon n into 7 minus 2 by 7 upon 1 by n as n tends to infinity because the value of vn is 1 by n. And you just observe that this 1 by n is cancel out. And the quantity is left limit of n tends to infinity 1 upon 7 minus 2 by n. And as n tends to infinity 1 upon n is tends to 0. So that's why this is gives me 1 upon 7 which is non-zero. And it is a finite number. So if you can recall what is the limit comparison phase. If this is a value of L which is non-zero finite number. So that's why we can say that the summation of un and summation of vn is convergent or divergent together. So therefore by limit comparison test we say that summation of un and summation of vn are convergent or divergent together. I am writing convergent and divergent in this short form. But what will happen with the summation of vn due to the p series test? The summation of Vn, that is summation of 1 upon n, is divergent. So therefore, the summation of Un is also divergent. But by P series test, summation of 1 upon n is divergent as P equal to 1. So therefore, the summation of Un, that is 1 upon 7n minus 2, is divergent. Second example, that is 5 plus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus square root of 1 plus 1 upon 4 plus square root of 2 plus 1 upon 8 plus square root of 3 up to so on. So this is the series is given to us and you just observe that we have to test the conversions for this series and you just observe that this terms is not in the pattern of the remaining terms which is we have given. And we have learned that if you remove a finitely many terms from the series, then the nature of the series will not be changed. So with the help of that, we are ignoring this four terms out of this series. So the solution for that, let, let us ignore first four terms of the series. So I am ignoring first four terms. What is the remaining terms we have that we can write down as un, which is we just observe that it is 2, 4, 8. So it is 1 upon 2 power n plus it is square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. So that will be square root of n. For every n which is greater than 1, you just see that it is n running from 1 to infinity. So this is my un. And so I am asking you a question that what should be the relation between 2 power n plus square root of n and 2 power n. Here we have added root n into this 2 power n. So that is why obviously this will be bigger than this. For any n this is true. So therefore if I take the reciprocal this inequality will be changed. So that is why we will have it is 2 power n plus square root of n is less than 1 upon 2 power n for every n. And this is my un so this will be vn. And you just see that by comparison test, 
if this series is convergent then this will be convergent and this is convergent why because of geometric series this is a geometric series with the ratio 1 by 2 so that's why this series is convergent so we observe that the series summation 1 upon 2 power n is convergent as it is a geometric series with ratio r equal to 1 by 2 which is less than 1 so therefore by comparison test the, the summation of 1 over 2 power n plus square root of n is convergent let us solve the third example the question is face the convergence of 3 by 4 plus 5 by 9 plus 7 by 16 plus 9 by 25 up to so on so you just note that here un is in the numerator it is 3 5 7 9 so it is a uh, all odd numbers in the numerator we have so it is we can write down 2n plus 1 in the denominator you have 4 9 16 15 so if i write down here n square in the denominator then if n equal to 1 this will be 3 but then in the denominator it will not satisfy it will start with 4 so it is 2 power square so if n is 1 this will be n plus 1 square and this statement is true for every n greater than or equal to 1 so this is my un as i told you in the example number 1 that whenever we have a situation is polynomial upon polynomial so both of them is p of x and p of x both of them are polynomial in n so whatever the maximum power in the numerator that you have to take out of n so this is maximum is n so it is 2 plus 1 by n we can write down in the denominator also we can have n square common out so we'll have 1 plus 1 by n whole square and this quantity you can take as vn where n is cancelled out so the vn is 1 by n so take vn it is equal to 1 upon n now you just observe that what will be the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinity that is limit of n tends to infinity if you can subtract this un upon vn if you divide them then it is 2 plus 1 by n upon 1 plus 1 by n square will be left and as n tends to infinity 1 upon n is tends to 0 so this is 2 plus 0 upon 1 plus 0 square and that will just me 2 which is non-zero which is finite number non-zero number which is a finite non-zero number therefore by what we can say by limit comparison test the series summation un and summation of vn are convergent or divergent together but the series summation of vn is divergent because of P series test but a summation of Vn that is summation of 1 upon n is divergent by P series test therefore summation of Un that is 2n plus 1 upon n plus 1 square as running from 1 to infinity is divergent. Let us solve the fourth example. Let us consider the fourth example is this way 1 plus 2 into ln 2 upon 9 plus 1 plus 3 ln 3 upon 14 plus 1 plus 4 ln 4 upon 21 and so on so first of all here you should observe what is your un that is 1 plus is already there in each and every term so that's why it is 1 plus the here it is 2 ln n this is 3 ln n so it is n ln n but n starts with 2 so this series is 9 so in the denominator we have a series 9 14 21 and so on so we have to see what will be the general term for that this 9 i can say it is a 2 square plus 5 that is 2 square plus 5 the 14 i can say it is a 3 square plus 5 because 9 plus 5 is 14. The next term that is 21, we can say it is a 4 square plus 5 because 16 plus 5 is 4, 21 and so on. So that's why this denominator will have it is n square plus 5. Now here is also 
it is not of polynomial upon polynomial form but we can take out n common from the numerator so we'll have n is common from the numerator we have 1 plus ln n upon n and the denominator maximum power is n square so i'll take n square common so it is 1 plus 5 by n square we have now this quantity i'll take as vn so let us take vn is equal to 1 by n now let us observe what will be the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinity so if you divide this un upon vn this 1 upon n will get cancelled out only things is left is this 1 plus n upon n upon 1 plus 1 upon n square as n tends to infinity now you just see that what will be the limit of ln upon n as n tends to infinity so let us try to calculate what will be the limit of ln upon n as n tends to infinity this is infinity upon infinity form so that's why we need to apply the l hospital rule so that will give me 1 upon n upon 1 the derivative of ln is 1 upon n a derivative of n is 1 and that's that's why this is n tends to infinity 1 upon n which will be gives me 0 so the limit of ln upon n is 0 as n tends to infinity and limit of 1 upon n square is also 0 as n tends to infinity so that's why this will give me 1 plus 0 upon 1 plus 0 which is 1 which is non-zero finite number so therefore by limit comparison test summation of un and summation of vn are convergent and divergent together but the summation of vn that is summation of 1 upon n is divergent but summation of vn that is summation of 1 upon n is divergent by p series test cause p equal to 1 here therefore the summation of un is also diverges now let us take the next example that is example number 5 let's consider the series summation n running from 1 to infinity 2n square plus 3n upon 5 plus plus n raised to 5 here un is 2n square plus 3n upon 5 plus n raised to 5 as I told you that it is a polynomial upon polynomial form so maximum power of n should be common out from the numerator so it is n square you will have 2 plus 3 by n and this is n raised to 5 is the maximum power take common out so it is n raised to 5 5 by n power 5 plus 1 this quantity you can take as vn now take vn is equal to 1 upon n cube because n square will get cancelled out so the left is 1 upon n cube now what will be the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinity it says that limit of un upon vn the un is this upon vn that is 1 upon n cube so this term will get cancelled out only the things is left is 2 plus 3 by n upon 5 by n power 5 plus 1 as n tends to infinity and this will leads to 2 plus 0 upon 0 plus 1 and will be gives me 2 which is non-zero finite number so that's why by limit comparison test summation of un and summation of vn are convergent or divergent together the summation of vn that is summation of 1 upon n cube is conversion by p series space but the summation of vn that is summation of 1 upon n cube is conversion by p series test as here p equal to 3 which is greater than 1 therefore the summation of un is conversion let us take the sixth example the summation of n running from 1 to infinity square root of n power 4 plus minus square root of n power 4 minus 1 here you have un which is square root of n power 4 plus 1 minus square root of n power 4 minus 1 so this will not work out with certain rules you have to some some adjustments you have to do it here whenever situation of this type is given so 
un is we have it is square root of n power 4 plus 1 minus square root of n power 4 minus i will just divide and multiply some quantity here which is having plus sign in between them n power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n power 4 minus 1 and i will multiply the same quantity here also so what i did it is here i will multiply this quantity and divide that but when we multiply this two quantity in the numerators one then we will have it is n power 4 plus 1 minus n power 4 minus 1 because it is of the form a minus b a plus b so this is a this is b this is a this is b so it is a minus b a plus b will give me n power 4 plus 1 square root of its square so that's why this will we got upon the numerator is sorry denominator is as it is numerator is left with now minus 1 minus minus plus 1 so that will left with 2 upon square root of n power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n power 4 minus 1. Now we will take common out whatever the maximum power here in the denominator. In the numerator is n power 0 is there so that is nothing we need to do. So in the denominator you just take out the maximum power. So n square is common out because it is a square root. So the left inside it is 1 plus 1 by n power 4 plus 1 minus 1 by n power 4. This is the quantity is left. So now this value that is 1 upon n square you can take as Vn. Take Vn is equal to 1 upon n square. Now let us observe what is the limit of Un upon Vn as n tends to infinity. That is limit of n tends to infinity. This 1 upon n square will cancel out. So the left is 2 upon square root of, you just see that it is 1 plus 1 upon n power 4 plus 1 minus 1 upon n power 4. As n tends to infinity, 1 upon n power 4 is tends to 0. So that is 2 upon square root of 1 plus 0 plus square root of 1 minus 0. So that will give me 1. And this is non zero finite number. So that is why we can say that by limit comparison test, summation of un and summation of vn are convergent or divergent together. But the series vn is convergent because of it is of the form 1 upon n power p, where p is 2 which is greater than 1 but series summation vn that is summation of 1 upon n square is convergent by p series test p is equal to 2 which is greater than 1 therefore summation of un is convergent let us solve the seventh example the question is test the convergence of n cube 1 upon n summation of sin n cube of 1 upon n. Here you should note that we should remember one of the result from the limit that says that limit of sin x upon x as x tends to 0 is 1. So if we apply this result and if I can take my vn as 1 upon n cube then we are through because it is sine cube and as n tends to 0 this would be 0. So here we have un is sine n cube upon 1 upon n and I will take now vn as 1 upon n cube and apply this result. Take vn is 1 upon n cube. Now a limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinity that is can show that limit of sine cube 1 by n upon 1 by n cube as n tends to infinity. As n tends to infinity, 1 upon n tends to 0. So this is exactly limit x tends to 0 sin x upon x whole cube, where I replace by 1 upon n by x. And this will be gives me 1, which is a non-zero finite number. By limit comparison test, of un and summation of vn 
conversion diversion together these summation of vn which is summation of 1 upon n cube is conversion as p test where p is equal to 3 which is greater than 1 therefore series summation of un is also conversion let's take one more example that is the eighth example discuss the conversions of summation n running from 0 to infinity ln n upon n raised to 3 by 2 un ln n upon to 3 by 2 one should know that n a growth of ln is more slowly than n power c for any positive constant so what i can say as we know that n n grows slowly than n power c for any positive constant that means ln n is a smaller than n power c that means what we can say is ln n is smaller than n power c for large n this is always true so here what i can say is un is ln n upon n power 3 by 2 which i can say this is less than instead of ln i'll just write down it is n power 1 by 4 upon n power 3 by 2 and which will gives me 1 upon n power 5 by 4 because 3 by 2 minus 1 by 4 gives me 5 by 2 sufficiently large for large n this is true so this is also for large n taking now this value as vn or i can say by comparison test this is conversion so its smaller series is also conversion the series summation of vn that is summation of 1 upon n power 5 by 4 is conversion by test p is 5 by 4 which is greater than 1 therefore by comparison test summation of ln n upon n raised to 3 by 2 is conversion that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or a question please drop down in the comment box below see you next video till then bye bye sayonara